Hi, Tom from the Corona team here, and in this Development Insights video, we'll take a look at some new features coming your way in Corona Renderer 4 for 3ds Max. If you'd like to learn Corona 4 in depth, the upcoming Corona Academy courses in May and June will cover all the new features. Uh, a, a quick reminder, this is an early look at in-development features, so the UI and functionality may change, these are just test scenes, and this is by no means everything coming in Corona 4, just a sample of some of the things we have working today. You can see, uh, you can always check out the roadmap to uh, have a look at uh, the other things that we've got in store. Okay, on with the show. So the first new features we'll look at are the ability to pick objects and set focus points in the VFB. We just enable pick mode uh, and with a right click I can set focus to this object and you can see the focus point has changed to uh, whichever object I selected. The uh, next ability is to uh, right click and you can actually select the object itself. You can see that reflected here in the viewport. Uh, you can also simply left click to do that and control and left click of course works the same as it does in the viewport. You can add to the selection. Same functionality uh, applies here in the uh, docked Corona IR viewport. Uh, one thing to note is the uh, drop down list here now lets you choose between different uh, cameras and views. Um, left clicking selects the object as you can see uh, and same thing if I hold control we can select multiple objects and a right click uh, we can set the focus to uh, the object and you'll also find other functionality here under the right click, including uh, the stop and restart functions are now in here, uh, whereas they used to be in the drop down list. So that's uh, object picking and focus setting in the VFB and interactive viewport. Next up, we have the new caustics. Uh, you can see here caustics in Corona 3. Uh, notoriously hard to uh, render successfully. And in Corona 4, we've implemented new caustics, single checkbox, uh, and you can see uh, much better results. No parameters to set, just one checkbox. For those of you looking for uh, faster denoising and uh, having a a trade-off um, speed quality hybrid has been introduced, the Intel CPU AI denoiser. This will run on any CPU. It's made by Intel, hence the name, but it will run on non-Intel CPUs. Um, it's faster than the Corona high quality denoiser. So let's just take a look at an example. So here's our scene. We have uh, nine light select layers with uh, one additional rest unassigned layer and uh, if we take a look uh, here we can see with the high quality denoiser the time was uh, 11 minutes 56 seconds to denoise all those layers and with the Intel denoiser the time was 2 minutes 3 seconds so that's almost 6 times faster using the uh, Intel denoiser and that means it provides an ideal alternative uh, for final rendering to the NVIDIA GPU denoiser for uh, those people who do not have an NVIDIA card or whose NVIDIA card is not new enough to support the uh, GPU denoiser or if you find that you uh, don't have enough memory in your GPU for rendering large resolutions then the uh, Intel gives you a a uh, halfway point between the high quality, it's faster but not as good quality, and the NVIDIA. It's not as fast as NVIDIA, which might finish in uh, fractions of a second, uh, but uh, it is faster than the high quality. Uh, it's not fast enough to use in IR, so it's only available as a final denoising selection. So two other changes to denoising, and I'm demonstrating this in the Corona image editor, but this functionality is in the VFB2. Uh, and it's checkbox. If ever you've wondered how much detail has been softened or blurred at a particular uh, denoise level, now you can do a straight comparison just by enabling and disabling this checkbox. Previously you'd have to drag the slider up and down, which um, 
wasn't very intuitive and didn't really let you flick back and forth like this. So that's a new feature in the VFB and in the CIE. And uh, another important feature used to be you could denoise all the light selects except for the uh, rest unassigned layer. And that light select would capture anything that hadn't been added to a specific light select layer. Previously, you couldn't denoise it in Corona 4. You can denoise it just the same as uh, any other light select layer. So we've also introduced a fix for overlapping media. Uh, here is the uh, Disney Cloud uh, loaded as OpenVDB. There are two copies of it which are overlapping and you can see artifacts here and, uh, and then here it is in Corona 4 with the fix and you can see now the result is what we'd expect.